Welcome to my channel. I appreciate you guys taking a second to check in. I don't have a, a script or anything uh, really planned right now. I did come up with a beautiful melody, which you heard a little bit of in the beginning of this uh, video. But I'm going to talk about my two favorite apps. I've been using these apps for years, and they just recently changed these effects or converted them to AUV3 effects, which is amazing. Uh, I used to have to uh, record an instant or a track with it, um, mix it down, and then add, you know, whatever other track, because I, I love uh, Space Reverb so much and dub uh, that um, I use it almost on everything. It's one of my favorite apps. It has some really amazing sounds. The ones that really get me are the uh, swirl. I have a couple effects uh, made myself, uh, Bigger Hall. Um, I, I, I labeled them FK just that I knew which ones were mine, uh, even though it loads it into the user uh, menu. But they have a huge assortment of reverbs to go through. Not overwhelming, but huge. My favorites are the swirl. You got big, big swirl, bright swirl. Um, there's just all kinds of swirly effects. There's no shimmer reverbs, which you can use other effects for that, but these these effects, dub and space, are so good that you don't need something like Shimmer with it. So what I'm going to do is just kind of go through a little melody that, that I created. Um, one of the main things that I require from any effect, and I say this in all my demonstration videos, is that they inspire me. And these apps always inspire me. Another requirement from my uh, echo effects is that I am able to get like a tapping, uh, I call it a one-to-one, -one. I don't really know what to call it, but it's like when you hit a note and it immediately repeats what you do. And that's one of the things that I require from mine. And I've got a perfect, um, a perfect echo for this. So you can have just a um, long feedback with it. And by the way, I have nothing else going with these effects. It's all just my Fender bass, my Fender jazz bass, and AUM, and then uh, space and dub. So one of the echoes that I've created is one where you can just hit the note and it repeats back. And this is, I do a lot of, um, I think his name is Edge from U2. Back in my industrial days, I used to um, do stuff with syncopated drums. And that's with dub. And that is like my primary echo effect. And this is what dub does perfectly. It has a lot of presets. Now I had to, um, there's a little problem with the uh, course time. Course time is like how quickly it repeats back. And um, I'm hoping that the developer can make it so you can enter a numeric value, you know, like type in what number specifically you're after because it is almost, with your finger or with a stylus or whatever, it is almost impossible to slide to the number that you want. And then when you release the pen or your finger, the numbers nudge just a little bit and you're never able to get it to an exact value. That's my one 
gripe about these apps, but other than that, they're perfect. So my solution to the syncopation with um, making it repeat is I set my tempo in my host app. So in this case, um, a perfect syncopation for me is 110. It's a comfortable pace for me. I could go faster, and some songs I do go faster. So what I found is it is easier to put the effect on uh, tempo sync. I do it on one-eighth, and that's just perfect. Then you can change the tempo of what you're playing on the uh, metronome rather than trying to get an uh, exact value through the uh, effect itself. So just a few of the presets got a grungy old tape. Now Dub, they say in their description that it's a tweakable stereo delay audio unit effect and it does a lot. Uh, you can get dirty cassette sounds, you can get flangers, filthy dub echoes. So this is one of the cassette sounds. You get a pretty nice chorus too. Really nice. Not quite warm. That one's nice and warm. Now there's some crazy ones. you can select from they really have a lot i mean just an overwhelming amount of um effects Let's see what tape echo reminds me of the old boss pedal even though the boss pedal wasn't quite as dirty but Stereo delay. So that gives you an idea of some of the presets. I'm not going to go through all of them. Like I said, I'm going to focus on this beautiful melody that I was inspired to create right off the bat. So I'm going to put it back on my FK tap synced to 110. Take it off dub and let's go to space. Now space, like I said, my favorite, sorry, my phone is not letting me close that menu. Okay, now space, like I said, is my favorite reverb. And then I got to do this to close that for some reason. So that is one of my presets bigger hall sounds like a plate reverb 
This is just a standard hall sound. <laughs> Now, I believe part of what you can do, you can, you can change the stereo spread, dampening, swirl, everything that you can do with uh, standard reverbs and delays. The thing that sets these two specifically aside, too, is that you can, uh, you can tweak low-pass filters and high-pass filters. So I'm not going to do a lot with that, but that is one of the features of these amazing effects. Let me make sure. I think in dub you can do this also. Oh no. Okay. I don't know why. So low cut. Um, actually no. So all you can do is change, you know, like tape noise, low cut, fine tune, you know, just stereo with the, all those wonderful things. So let me get space to my favorite sound. It is bright swirl. And most of these presets, you literally don't have to change any parameters. You just click on them and bam, there you go. just gorgeous like I said I could sit here and just improv all day long but I'm not gonna do that I did actually create a song for this one and I'm pre actually pretty pleased with it so I'm gonna use swirl and space together Just gorgeous. So that's the melody that I was just sitting yesterday and just came out of me. And the reason why that melody came out of me was specifically because of space and dub. So there's more parts to that. Um, I actually created a little song for that. And I do, I, it's, it's got like a low part, a harmonizing high part, which is um, repeating the same as the low part. Now within Cubasis 3, I created loops. Rather than play the whole song, which I could do, I mean, it's not a problem, but rather than playing the entire song and having some mistakes and things go out of sync every once in a while, it's easier with something like this that's repeating like this to make a loopable part I usually do it for 16 measures or 16 bars. And then I just loop it and copy and paste. And that creates a predictable melody, a, pred a predictable um, pattern, I should say. So along with this, turn the neck volume down and I usually turn the neck volume down on my jazz bass and it gives me a nice uh, like a lead sound it's a very uh, thin sort of mid-ranged 
uh, sound that just cuts through. You hear that? Absolutely gorgeous. So that's about it in a nutshell. Dub and Space, one of my two favorite apps. Apps I love and I've been using for a long time, and I am so grateful that they came out with AUV3 because um, th this song that I created, I... I think I've so far, you know, I'm not done working with it, but so far it's got, I think, four bass tracks. And I'm using space and dub on each one of those tracks. And um, it's been very CPU friendly. And I've not had any popping or crackling or anything like that going on. So I'm very pleased with what they did. So I really appreciate the effort and making the app AUV3 which just elevated what are already amazing apps. So if you don't have these apps, I highly recommend getting them. If you, I mean, they are a integral part of my arsenal and my sound and my recording. So definitely get them. There'll be links in my uh, description and where to get them in the app store. And again, I appreciate you checking in. And remember to be kind, like, and subscribe.